everybody welcome back so as you have seen I have completed my diamond dot painting and we are going to finish it off today so there's multiple things that you can do you can frame it you can mount it on a board so this I got from craft buddies it's a 30 by 30 um, block mount if you will canvas wooden canvas um, and then there's also um, stretch mounting. So if you were stretch mounting it, what they would do, so I think you, if unless you know how to do it, they basically put wood on the corners only, so the center doesn't have anything. And then they stretch the canvas around the wood and nail it into the wood. So if you were doing that, you would want to get rid of all of your legends on the side, because obviously you don't want that showing on the side. If you were framing it or block mounting it um, or putting it onto a canvas like we're going to do, you wouldn't need to do that. But I'm going to show you how to do it anyway, just so that if you want to, you can. So if you wanted to remove the legend, you would need to have some acetone and some cotton wool. So this is dangerous for me because I have nails and nails and acetone don't mix, but luckily my nail appointment is just around the corner. So. You're going to take your cotton wool and you don't want to use with use a, a piece you don't want to use a piece that is too big and the reason for this is you obviously want to be able to control it so you're going to put your acetone onto your cotton wool oh gosh and you would then use that to clean this off Like so. So obviously you're going to use a different piece to clean and get off. You can see it's melting my nails. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that is a problem. Um, <laughs> but it's fine. We shall move on. Okay. So I'm not going to be doing that because obviously I am going to be block mounting mine. I don't need to use my acetone. Okay, so you know how to do that, that's great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our cutting board and we're going to cut our edges away. Nice and simple. So, if I turn this upside down, you will see that it is slightly, slightly, slightly bigger than my canvas. Ever so slightly. It doesn't make a difference, to be honest. But if you would like to um, do it a different way, I guess, if you'd like to cut it smaller, you can obviously do that. So, I'm just going to double check my edges. I think we're good. Okay, so I'm going to be using Jewel Bond for this. And I'm going to apply it obviously all over my canvas. Oh, it's a bit stuck in there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to apply too much, obviously, because then it's going to take forever to dry. And we're just going to spread this all over our canvas. I can see in some places it's already started to dry, so I am going to apply it. We obviously want to make sure that it's nice and straight. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, so I'm using my Cricut Brea. Craft Buddies does actually sell a diamond painting roller. 
which is much cheaper so you don't have to go out and invest in a Cricut one but a roller is recommended look at how cute that is so obviously we just need this to dry properly you can just press it with your finger on the edges make sure that it is on so if you want to um, paint the sides that's completely up to you I'm not going to I think it's gorgeous just like this look at that so what I am gonna do so you can see the edges I'm just gonna trim wherever it's really bad um, like this edge I think I should just trim there I like it oops see we got the edge off let me just make sure that there's enough glue here that it's not going to come off. Here we are. How awesome is that? That is awesome. Super quick, super simple. So I'm going to donate this to my daughter's school actually. I know I said that I was going to do it for my daughter. But I just thought, you know, like she will grow out of it. The school can keep it and all of their kids can enjoy it. So she will be able to enjoy it for now. And then as time goes on, other children can enjoy it. And there we have it, ready to go. Oopsie, we got dust on it. There we are. Perfect. And that's not going to come off. And that is how simple it is to finish off your diamond dot painting. So I will just take a picture of it on the wall so you can see. But I think that was super easy. So I think this was a very short video but very informative. I hope that it helps you and that you have learned something. And I can't wait to do it again soon. Oh.